Hello, my name is Gino Farina. I'm going to talk to you about some common and not so common neurological presentations. Let's start off with a really strange case. This is a 52 year old man who presented to the urgent care center with progressive bilateral lower extremity weakness and decreased sensation for approximately one year. Why did he take so long? Well, he was incarcerated for 10 years and he had just released from jail. And when he got home, his family saw him and said, hey, we need to get you checked out. He notes that he has intermittent bowel and bladder incontinence for the last nine months. He has numbness from the umbilicus all the way down to his feet bilaterally. Generally, he's feeling weak and tired. He has nausea, but no vomiting. And there has been no changes in his stool. He was in not in any acute distress, but he was disheveled. Uh, HENT really only showed that he had mild scleral icterus, pile conjunctiva, and poor dentition. His neck was unremarkable, lungs were clear, heart tachycardic, but no murmurs. A neurological exam, he was alert and oriented times three. He answered questions, but sometimes was slow to respond. He had decreased strength in all his extremities bilaterally, about four or five. Cranial nerves, two to 12 were intact. His reflexes were good and present. Bilaterally, two plus. He did have decreased sensation to light touch and pinprick from his umbilicus down bilaterally to lower extremities. He had difficulty determining vibration. He was hesitant to ambulate because he thought he was going to fall, and he had reasonable insight as to what was going on. He had some lab work done. It revealed that he was anemic with a hemoglobin of 6.8 and a high MCV of 109. This is the uh, imaging, so the CT of the head and the entire spine were all negative. The CT of the abdomen did show Crohn's or terminal ileitis. The clinician who was taking care of this person decided to get a vitamin B12 level. Uh, the fact that this person had uh, icterus, the fact that the MCV was high and had anemia, the fact that he had Crohn's, the fact that he had some cognitive deficits and all these neurological things, vitamin B12 seemed to fit uh, in, in many aspects of, of this person's presentation. And the B12 was extremely low. 